a lot of the piece was actually influenced by coming to Alice Beach and my experience of the uh, of the environment you know feeling that there was a particular staging of experience here almost like a theme park or you know a kind of luxury resort environment you know the beach the coast uh, even the way that the the trees are planted here you know i was noticing all of these things that uh, seemed to be communicating a type of theatricality and then I came to the site and I saw that wall and I selected that wall to be where I wanted to present my work and where I wanted to create the work. Yeah, the difference um, with last year's piece to this year's piece, um, Human Effect was a highly developed work. I'd been working on that project for two years. It's shown in many sort of festivals um, and it was fantastic to be an artist in residence this year. I could do something really experimental, really site specific in terms of what I wanted to, um, uh, what I was inspired by, sort of, um, what I wanted to sort of produce. Um, they are similar in terms of the kind of uh, meaning behind them. Um, they're both really about um, trying to make people consider their impact on the environment, um, but they're very different works in terms of um, develop, how they're developed and produced. This is a lot more simpler. The name of my piece is the crying laughing emoji um, that Oxford Dictionary incorporated into their dictionary this year. Um, and then I have another piece that's going to be on the water tower that's the same name, but it's the emoticon version, which is the two semicolons, and then the tear, and then the smiley face. So it's not exactly a word, but maybe it is, and that's kind of the conversation that my piece talks about as well. But I'm showing the piece MMPI. And can you describe that for us? Yeah, so um, MMPI actually stands for Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory. So if you haven't heard of that before, which most people haven't, um, it's actually a book of case studies um, for uh, mental health patients. Um, and so I went through the, um, the book and my kind of qualifying factors were um, individuals who were both female and my age at the time, which I think was either 23 or 24. Um, and then I went through and kind of studied those different case studies and then re-performed um, the different kind of disorders that those individuals had um, and then took those performances and then edited them down to the essence of the gesture um, of that specific disorder. And then I um, arranged them in a grid-like format, which mimics the floor plan of the called the Northern Michigan Asylum. Alice Beach is fantastic um, for a projection festival in particular. In particular. Um, I mean, the architecture and the low ambient light and the um, white building facades just make it a fantastic canvas. Uh, I've been coming to the area for a while and was really fascinated with the architecture. And when I learned that they were doing a digital arts festival here, it was really, it seemed kind of fake ask because I've done a lot of digital work and I just think the way that the festival brings people outside to look at digital art is really amazing because normally people are just looking at it either in a very specific gallery or museum setting or more often than not online just in their beds and so it creates that sense of community which I'm really excited about. Yeah, so a lot of times um, when you, if it's like a projection festival or if it's like a, a video screening, right, it's your traditional, here is your projection screen and I'm going to project your video onto the screen, how it's supposed to be perfectly kind of laid out, right? But this is completely different. Um, this is how your building, or how your um, your work interacts with the building. Um, and so that's really important. And it's really interesting because actually I was talking to Brett, um, the curator, um, uh, yesterday, and he was like, well, you know what, Pete, what building your product's being projected? I'm like, no, I don't. He said, well, it's the community center. I'm like, well, that makes so much sense to have this piece, which talks about, you know, individuals part of your community being projected on the community center. And so I just thought that was really interesting. So, like, the actual history of the buildings, I think, really play a part into the work itself. I think it's really important also um, with these sort of festivals and creating projections on these scales that um, it's not all about spectacle and entertainment. I'm really trying to um, create works that make people um, consider ideas and concepts.